What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to make a projectile or a bullet. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on Wayne Fox. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create a new blueprint class. It's gonna be of type actor as we're gonna just spawn it in the scene. So it's gonna be a BP projectile. Check for example. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. So the first component that we're gonna add is just gonna be, for example, a sphere. This will have a you know a mesh to just visualize our uh, bullet. Now, of course, you can change this into any static mesh that you want. For example, if you actually have a bullet model or whatever other projectile model that you have, you can just plug it in over here. So the next uh, component that we're gonna need is gonna be the projectile movement component. So yeah, Unreal Engine has actually this in the engine, so it's gonna be very easy for us to actually make this bullet. So the main parameters that we have to focus on is gonna be these two, initial speed and max speed. So let's say that the initial speed is gonna be around 3000 and the max speed is gonna be like uh, 3500. So basically, um, it will start with a speed of 3000 and then it can accelerate into 3500. Of course, you can choose whatever values you want. I'm just putting some random values just to show you how it works. Now we have some more options in here. Of course, I will not be covering all of them. Just really the two main ones you have to cover is initial speed and max speed. But then you can use um, change things as the rotation, changes uh, between the velocity, if it can bounce, the friction that it has, the bounciness, etc. So you can go ahead and you know customize it as you want. So let's go ahead and just compile and save this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open my uh, third person character blueprint. Of course, you can use whatever character blueprint you're using. If it's first person, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now let's make that, for example, when I press the left mouse button, I will go ahead and spawn this projectile. So we can use, you say, spawn actor from class. And then we're gonna choose the uh, projectile that we have just created. So BB projectile and then the spawn position is going to be um, basically one that we provide over here. So what we're going to do is as simple as going to add a new component and it's going to be an arrow. And basically it's going to be the um, projectile spawn boss. So basically the projectile will spawn in this point over here and we can just see it better with an arrow. So let's see that it will just spawn just right in front of this player right on this pivot over here and it will be going forward. So now what we can do is just get the Preto uh, spawn pause and then we can get the transform. Transform. And we can just get the weld transform. And we can just plug that in into our spawn position. And then another thing that we can do is that this to be uh, in always spawn, ignore collisions. Just in case there's an obstacle, we always want to spawn our bullet. Of course, this is preferable preference, but I'm gonna make it like that. So now if we go ahead and press play and we actually go ahead and test it out. So if I uh, left click, you will see that a huge bullet appears in front of my character. And it's really working. This is really cool. Now, the thing is that it's absolutely huge. So what we can do is just get the scale and just reduce it quite a lot. So for example, let's say it's going to be around the scale over here. Very, very, very small. So now what we can do is press play and we will see that the bullet will be much smaller more like an actual bullet you can see it looks really cool now the thing is that it's really not like colliding with anything at all so what we can just go back into the bullet we can go into the sphere over here go down and you can see that the collisions are actually enabled we have block all dynamic but the thing is that we have to go into the projectile movement and then here to actually and say that it can interact with things we can say uh, what is it? Go up here and say should bounce and we have to do one more thing We're gonna go ahead and get the sphere and make it this uh, the scene root. So basically it will be the parent uh, itself So let's go back in here and now if I were to press play and get closer into the wall for example You will see that now it actually bounces now it made my um, my Ball huge again. Well my projectile <laughs> because basically it kind of changed the scale um, the thing is that this will not change at all. So if I were to change this and then spawn it, it will be as normal. This is because it is uh, changed on here how the transform it is. 
so we're gonna leave this at 111 for example and then when we can just go back into the uh, third person character and right click split the uh, transform and split the transform so the location will be location the rotation rotation but the scale will be different so for example 0.05 uh, or whatever it was what we had on before so basically like this is how you can change a bit the, the, the size and stuff so now if we get back into the wall you will see that it's much smaller and will actually bounce so it looks really cool and of course maybe have made it too small so you can just put for example 0.1 or something like that and you can play with the values as you want now a last thing I'm going to do is in the projectile I'm gonna go into the on component hit and I'm just gonna get the other actor and then just destroy it destroy actor so then when it will collide with something it will actually go ahead and destroy the actor so if I go and press play get uh, really near to this and shoot you will see that the <laughs> everything just disappeared this is because um it is bouncing and not destroying so for example we can destroy this actor and immediately destroy to the the bullet itself so now we can get the projectile movement and get uh, should bounce off and then if we go ahead and press play and go into a thing we can now destroy without well it, it basically destroyed the player so what we can do is just um a check over here so basically cast to uh, third person character so we're gonna basically cast into it so if the cast basically failed it means that well it is not a um it, it is not a oh it's also i want to unplug this over here and plug this over here wait a second so this in here this in here there we go so we'll be um checking if it's and the, the third person character if it's not it will fail so it will destroy what it has collided and then immediately basically the bullet itself so you can see the target itself there so now if we go and press play you will see that i can go and the player will not be destroyed but uh, will we impact yes so yeah you can do a lot of stuff with this and play around with it so that's it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful i really appreciate you look at that video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine fact tutorials as this one so if you want to check out awesome courses i have the links in the description and with all that said bye bye